Hello, everyone. I'm Jessica Tenori. And I'm Shana Hansborough. And we're extremely excited to share our new Elite Plus partner series, Elite Plus Community Link. Over the next several weeks, we will be sharing a series of short videos where we had the opportunity to sit down and discuss best practices, resources, and programs with many key experts within both the Juniper and our Elite Plus community. We hope you find these as valuable as we do. We've really enjoyed having these conversations and, and learning new things, and we're so eager to share it with you. And as always, we welcome your feedback and your ideas. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Shana Hansborough with the Elite Plus Partner Programs team. Welcome back to the Elite Plus Community Link, where we discuss tips and best practices for channel success. We're thrilled to have the opportunity to share some of our own insights, resources, and programs that will help us achieve success together. We are fortunate to have Jessica Tenuri and Tina O'Dell with us to talk to us a bit about our AI in Action Live events initiative. Welcome, Tina and Jessica. Thanks, Shana, and thank you so much, Tina, for joining us. We wanted to talk to our Elite Plus partners today just a little bit about a newer initiative. I mean, we've been doing events around AID for quite some time, but we've got a bit of an initiative around our AID, AI in Action, I'm sorry, local events. We put a lot of focus and resources around this recently. So we just wanted to have you on and maybe give us a little more insight into, into what are we doing. So can you just, can you start by just sharing what is an AI local event? Yeah, thank you both for having me. I'm uh, proud to be here today representing Global Channel Marketing and these wonderful events. Um, as many of our partners are probably already familiar, uh, we've been building up a brand over the last several years of events called AI in Action. These events actually started out as partner events in EMEA, where we would bring partners out and introduce them into some, some insights and new products and features of where Juniper was really embracing AI and the power of AI into our wired and wireless portfolio. And then over time, uh, we had such great feedback on these events that we started to invite end users and customers to come out to these events as well. So they became large regional events that we would host several times a year in a couple of locations. And again, covering just all of the the power of AI and how Juniper is embracing that across our networking and security portfolio, not just in wired wireless, but it is now expanding to cover more. So the next evolution of these AI in action events is to take them more local. We want to spread that uh, innovation and that awareness and that excitement uh, with our customers and prospects. And we wanna work with our partners to bring those events local to their customers, their prospects, and provide better support, better brand recognition, and just better awareness uh, for our partner community and the customers that we're jointly uh, pursuing with these new solutions. Now, that's great. And, and you mentioned we wanna take these local, and I assume it's really because we want to spread them farther, wider, right? So how many events you think, you know, are we hoping to kind of do over the rest of, of the year? We're actually, we have a, a bold goal of getting somewhere between 200 and 250 events globally wow. for the rest of the, the year. Uh, we just kicked this off mid-quarter for Q2. We've put some additional prioritization behind it. We've developed a kit we have all of the resources uh, that our field or our partners would need to host an event already packaged up. They're co-brandable. There's a presentation deck. It has speaker notes. So what we're really focused on now is finding partners uh, that can build an audience in their location to help us take this powerful message and bring it out to the masses. Normally, when we do events from Juniper Corporate, you know, we're going to tend to hit some of the same cities where we can get scale. If we're coming in to do a large event, we have to have numbers uh, to support that large event. But by breaking this up and working this through our partners and going locally, we have modeled these events, you know, to be somewhere between 25 and 30 attendees total. So it's much more palatable to stand these up more quickly, more agile in the locations that can facilitate the size of group. And it's a bit easier to drive the audience. We keep the costs down for everybody and make it something that's repeatable. You know, we we intend them to be a very short focused message on the power of AI, how AI is influencing uh, networking and security and changing things. And then what is Juniper doing with AI? Um, we've also modeled these 
very closely to our larger AI in action events to have a customer testimonial. So ideally we'd have a customer that belongs to that partner be present at this event, sharing their story, their personal experience. If you need help, if a partner needs help identifying a customer to come share their testimony, our AIDE specialists are more than happy to work with you and bring someone in or the specialists themselves can attend and give a secondhand account of how we've helped customers solve their problems. So it's still that powerful message delivery of real life, true stories of how Juniper and AI are changing and innovating in the most powerful way, what we're able to do in the wired wireless space and across the rest of the portfolio. And then just to make sure that we have all our bases covered, we also have a series of customer testimonial videos that we have incorporated into the deck. So if you don't have a live customer that can make the date that you're hosting your event and you would prefer to use the video footage, there's a series of video clips of customers sharing their stories and their experiences. So we've really tried to take all of the complexity out of hosting these events as far as the event itself and minimize that and streamline that and allow the partner and the Juniper team to really focus on finding a venue, setting a date and encouraging people to come to the event. So that's what we're really looking for right now as partners that have that desire, have that ability to host an event and drive attendance. And then really the thing that makes an AI in action local event an event is that collaboration between the partner, uh, Juniper salespeople, and having our AIDE specialist there. So if you think of that as a triangle or a pyramid, if we can get those three groups collaborating and driving attendance and working together to share how amazing the innovations are in the portfolio right now. We believe that's going to be the simplest, fastest route to new business for both our partners and us as Juniper. And I'm glad you mentioned the specialists because I think that's a key thing here, right, is that Juniper is really behind these where we want them to be partner-led, right, partner-driven, partner-managed, but we're putting those resources behind this as well, right, and working with the partners to bring in specific specialists that can help support the message, which isn't always the case, right, at a partner event. So I think that's a key thing that I want to make sure our partners know is that they have that support from a resource perspective. Absolutely. Over the past several years, Juniper has made significant investments into our partner programs to enablement, into training, into simplifying how it is to do business with us. At the same time, we've had some pretty innovative expansions to our portfolio. So it's It's really true when we say there's never been a better time to be a Juniper partner. That's an absolutely true statement. I am in this role now at Juniper and I've been here for eight years. But prior to that, I was actually a Juniper elite partner for six years. And I can tell you in my 14 year history with this company, I have never seen a time that Juniper has been more partner friendly, had a stronger portfolio and been more lucrative to do business with and have a better reputation in the marketplace uh, right now. The fact that we are uh, leaders in the Gartner's Magic Quadrant for both wired and wireless and location services and are very well positioned and placed across our other portfolios as well. It's definitely the time to start taking more share with Juniper products. We know we've always had the reputation for being a profitable business for our partners. We pride ourselves in being someone that is someone who you want to do business with, you know, we believe we're likable people and that we're trustworthy and honest. That's in our culture. We try to live the Juniper way as it's defined for our company and and treat our partners, you know, in that manner. So I see these AI in action events, the fact that it's drawing our teams closer together, the Juniper team and the partner team to drive new business. It is really just that evolution of this journey that we've been on together. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the results that we get. Yeah, that's amazing, Tina. I love hearing that, you know, you come from the partner side, so you understand what our partners need, you know, what they're looking for. And I think that's why, you know, the resources that the team has put together and just this framework, it makes sense because, you know, we're thinking about it from a partner perspective. So I think that's amazing. And then what What's the next step for a partner? It's just as simple as them letting their PAM or their FMM know they want to do this, right? Absolutely. Uh, Right now, we're actually prioritizing um, some funding and support. It's not always dollars that we can bring to the table for support, but things like the specialists and things like field marketing or marketing resources to help with planning. 
So if you're a partner out there, you're hearing this message uh, and you're like, all right, let's go, let's do this. We want to talk with you. So reach out to your Pam, reach out to your field marketer, raise your hand and say, hey, I would like to get in on this and host an AI in action event. Your Pam or your field marketer will submit your intent to host an event and that will be the trigger that flags you as someone that may need resources. So we'll make sure that you know where to get the event kit, that if you need help co-branding or customizing the materials, we can help you with that. The field marketer and the PAM are there and able to support you as well in locating a venue and finding a date. We will help you build out your team. You know, this is a team effort. We'll connect you with the Juniper salespeople in your region. We'll make sure the MIS specialist or the AID specialist is aware that you're hosting an event on a certain date, lining up your customer story. All of those elements, our teams internally are all collectively triangulating on this effort. And everyone is just waiting for people to start raising their hands and say, I'm ready. And I'm pleased to announce we actually had our first successful event about right. two weeks ago, we had some early adopters. We had, it, this one was actually a multi-partner event. So it was field led. So the Juniper teams are also incented to help drive these. So the field team, the field marketing team in the West, in the U.S., put together an event for multiple partners and multiple customers. Uh, and, and they set it up so that each partner had their own table with their customers. So even though you're co-mingled at an event, you had a table to yourself with your customers. And we just heard phenomenal things about that event. There was a very good AI in action message that was delivered by our MIST specialist. Then we had some customer testimonials shared and we've already had five opportunities identified wow. out of that event. So that's the power of getting face to face with your Juniper team and your customers, there's just nothing like it. And um, during the pandemic, we all had to pull back and do more business virtually, but we are past that now. And we're thankful for that. Thankful to be getting back out there face-to-face -face with our partners, face-to-face -face with our customers. And we are seeing that there is some demand, you know, for that on the customer prospect side too. And as a marketer and as someone who works very closely with sales, I can just say that there's nothing like that interaction when you get face to face with someone to really add some acceleration through the funnel. You know, if you're picking up the phone or or executing a campaign or doing a paid media campaign, it just takes longer. That get to know you face is just extended and prolonged. Whereas if you can get someone to join you at an event and you keep it light and you keep it fun and you keep it interactive and you've got real customers telling real stories, then you're going to come out of that event with some interest. So it's definitely a very good investment of time. In my opinion, the ROI that we've seen on these types of events in the past is very high. Uh, the speed to bringing an identified lead through the funnel to a demo appointment, a POC, and then an opportunity is just much more accelerated than traditional marketing paths. Yeah, now that's awesome to hear that we're already doing these events. We're already seeing results, right? And we will continue to do this throughout the year. And I think I'm glad you brought up that we have options, right? It, it could be a multi-partner event if the partner's comfortable with that, where they can host their own event. We, we, we're we very flexible in how we, how we go to market with these specific events because we want it to fit our partners, right? So I think that's great. And for the Elite Plus partner specifically, you know, that's one of the great things about the program is we've got our budget set roughly for the year, right? So we've got dollars set aside for specific demand gen activities. We have a lot of partners that have very specifically, you know, listed as one of their objectives to further grow their AID portfolio, right? So this fits to me right in with what these business plans are that we have out there with a lot of our partners. So I think it's a great time. It's a great program. You've mentioned all the resources. There's there's just a lot going on here. So, I mean, really, message, let's do it. Right? Let's get our partners to say, yes, let's go. We're here to support you. And just, that's all I have yeah, to say Just about. as you said, Jessica, <laughs> yeah, the, the last thing that I would say is we are very flexible on yeah. these events. It could be, I've, I've seen, we've got about 35 registered already for this quarter. And I've seen golf outings. I've seen lunch and learns. I've seen brunch. I've seen movie openings, movie premieres. So there's a lot of different types of events that you could have. All you need to be able to do is carve out you know, 15 or 20 minutes to do that presentation and then a little bit of time for that testimonial and Q&A. And the beautiful thing is the Q&A will keep going throughout the rest of the event. So as long as you have some sort of 
engaging activity. You know, you can be watching a baseball game and the customer is going to be approached by another customer or prospect in a room to ask a couple of follow on questions. You know, it gives everyone the opportunity to do that little bit additional networking and, and conversation and just warm up that connection between those parties. So there's a lot of different ways that we can shape this event. The core tenants are just let's give them, you know, the AI in action pitch. It's It's been architected to be short, zippy, full of facts, you know, full of actual use cases and then get that customer in front of them and then just wrap that with a little bit of fun uh, in networking time. And then, uh, you know, it's follow up afterwards, you know, from there. Uh, but that's what good marketers and good salespeople do. You know, you're taking you know people, you're driving them to the event initially, making sure they have a good time, the experience, you know, that you hope for them to have at that event. And then the follow-up is just reaching back out to them to see how we can help and what we can do for them. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Um, and one more thing I will add that I forgot to mention for our Elite Plus partners is we are going to also be awarding flex points for doing these, right? So hopefully by now everyone's very familiar with our flex points aspect of our program, and there will be 10 um, flex points awarded to every event you do. And you can you know, hopefully do more than one, right? I mean, we're, we're hoping our partners do multiple events, you know, as they see success here. So 10 points for every event, and we'll be doing this until the end of the year. So Tina, we really appreciate you giving us some insights into to what these events are, why we're doing them, all the resources, all the efforts behind them. And I know that our Elite Plus partners will do many, many successful events this year. So thank you very much. Thank you. And we always appreciate the support that we get from our Elite Plus. You know, they are some of our best partners globally. Uh, they've chosen to be in this program and make a deeper commitment. And uh, we, in turn, you know, make that commitment back to them. So we look forward to hosting some events with them. Thank, well, thank you. Thank you.